Greetings and welcome to another LGR Quickie episode. And today I want to talk about Dropsy, a game by Jay Tolan and uh, a Jolly Corpse, I believe. And they're the sort of dude in uh, indie studio involved in this, as well as Devolver Digital being the publishers. Just 10 bucks for this, too. This came out in September 2015, and it is a classic point-and-click graphical adventure in the style of, like, LucasArts games and all of that goodness from back in the day. Definitely reminded me a bit of uh, graphical style of Sam and Max Hit the Road, Day of the Tentacle, things like that. But the other thing that really attracted me to it was the fact that you play a really creepy looking clown. <laughs> that's uh, that's not the kind of character that you typically play as. You may play a super creepy looking clown, but he is the most lovable, heartwarming character to play maybe ever. I mean, he, he just makes me happy. This is a game that pleases me on such a level that is just like, oh man, you know what? Life is pretty good sometimes. There's people, sometimes you just want to get a hug and, and like be happy and do something nice for someone, even if they're a total stranger. And that's the entire premise of Dropsy, basically. Um, you start the game off and there's something going on where, uh, you know, you're a clown, so you were in a circus and something happened. There's a big fire, your mom died in it, people blamed you because you're a creepy clown, and I don't know. People are just like prejudiced and horrible against creepy clowns, and that's understandable. They're creepy. But he's so misunderstood that it's uh, it's just unfortunate. So he goes out and you, you play as Dropsy, of course, going out into the world. And there's this town to explore and surrounding areas and whatnot. And you just go and see what you can do to be nice to people. That That's it. You just go out and be nice. <laughs> That's the, that's the greatest thing. There's a little girl and her flower died. You get her a new flower and plant it in the ground while she's not looking because otherwise she'll freak out. Or, you know, there's a homeless person in the back alleyway. Get them some food. You know, get them a place to sleep. Hang out with them for a little bit. You know, give this guy like a thing so he can go and, and get a drink. You know, there's another person that uh, just needs some help getting a, a job, like a music gig. So you go and talk to a record store person and do something for them so you can do something for someone else. And eventually there is more of a plot to it than that. Uh, you do gather these little animal companions. You've got a, a puppy, a mouse, and a little bird. Along the way, you'll be able to do different puzzles as each of them. So you can switch control between these four main characters. And they all have their own little special abilities to, of course, let you do other things to make people happy. And uh, as such, you uh, sort of restore or maybe give you some actual respectability for the first time in this town. And also explore who you are and what it means to be a part of your family and uh, because obviously you know you look kind of weird <laughs> That's li and you don't really have hands just little blobby arms he's like sloshy and filled with water something's obviously up right and then you start running into things like aliens and some weird sci-fi stuff and robots and it's a little like okay this is getting interesting beyond that let me just say that this is one of the most astoundingly fitting soundtracks that I've ever heard. It reminds me of SimCity 3000 and like Roller Coaster Tycoon and The Sims and some of it's jazzy, some of it's sad, some of it's kind of peppy and happy and some of it is just wonderfully ambient. These soundscapes that it makes, it, it goes and fits that whimsical style of the art of the game and the things that you're doing. It's just, I played through this game twice now and just did like a third one with uh, Pushing Up Roses over on her channel. So if you'd like to see us play the game through its entirety, you can go ahead and do that. But I would recommend checking out the game in full for yourself as well, if you possibly can. And you like point and click adventures. It is a point and click adventure. Lots of inventory puzzles and things like that. But it's not too bad as far as the complexity of it. There is more to do, a lot of optional stuff that uh, does get more complex, but the main story isn't too bad, so not bad if you're not too used to these types of games. And if you enjoyed this and would like to see some other quickies or full reviews here in LGR, then, well, this is the right place to be because this is my channel, and I hope you enjoy some of the others if you choose to take a look or subscribe or whatever. There's also Twitter and Facebook if you'd like to bother me in social ways, or online social ways, as well as Patreon if you'd like to support the show monetarily. And as always, thank you very much for watching.